You know what, Miss King? I mean, you might be a celebrity and all, but that doesn't give you the right to talk to me however you like it. Hello, everyone. It's Jack here. Welcome to our channel. As usual, I will teach you six vocabulary words from dialogue in a real-life story video. Today's real-life story is about an Uber driver who deals with a very rude celebrity. Before the video, let's take a look at the words you will learn today. The first word is to be about to do something. Next are to bring up somebody and to do one's best. We will continue with to drag something out and in person. The final word is to catch up. Okay, let's watch the video. Hey, are you Rebecca? Why else do you think I'd be standing here? Fair enough. Come on in. Excuse me, ma'am. You would mind putting your seatbelt on? Uh, yes, I would mind. I don't like the way seatbelts press against my skin. Focus on driving, please. I understand that, but I would feel a lot more comfortable if you put your seatbelt on. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what, buddy? I don't really care. If you want me to leave a good review today, drive. I could get you banned from driving. Okay, ma'am. You're the boss. That's right. You should feel lucky to have me in your car. Now that I think about it, you do look a little familiar. Have I seen you somewhere before? Yeah, you have seen me before. Uh, you know Rebecca King? Well, I play Judge Jolly on the courts. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's me. I'm in the flesh. That's awesome. You know, it's not every day I get to drive around a big celebrity. Well, I'm about to be an even bigger celebrity after today. Believe me. Yeah, well, uh, what's happening today? Well, I'm on my way to meet with the director, Justin Brown. He's one of the biggest directors in L.A. He wants me to be the lead in his next movie. And I, for one, am so, so ready to leave television. That's amazing. Did you say Justin Brown? Yes. He's one of the best directors in film today. Do you know who he is? Actually, yeah. I used to go to high school with him. We were really good friends. Well, you certainly went down different paths. You really should have stayed friends with him. Yeah, probably should have. What on earth is this? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. That looks like one of my kids' toys. I try to clean the car as best as I can before I start my day, and I must have missed that one. I apologize. Well, having a clean car is very important. You should be better about that next time. You are absolutely right, and it won't happen again. I apologize again. You have a baby daughter? I do. Um, a son as well, actually. Oh, unbelievable. What's the matter? Well, clearly you don't make much money as an Uber driver. How on earth do you provide a good education and a good home on such a low budget? Especially with children. Well, yeah, ma'am, it's true that I don't make much money as an Uber driver. But my wife and I work really hard to provide for our children. We do the best with what we have, and we're bringing up our kids as best as we can with the resources we have. It may not be much, but again, we do our best. Well, to be frank, I don't think that poor people should have children. You just pass your poverty down to the next generation. Frankly, it's awful that you have kids. You know what, Miss King? I mean, you might be a celebrity and all, but... That doesn't give you the right to talk to me however you like it. You're right. I don't make that much money. But again, I do the best I can with what I have. How about we don't drag out this conversation for the rest of the ride? I'm sorry. Did you just tell me to be quiet? I'm going to have to give you a one-star rating. So, good luck providing for your kids without being able to drive. Miss King, please, don't give me a one-star rating. I've driven you quickly and safely to your destination, 
If you still give me one star, it will lower my average rating and affect my income. Think about it again, please. You should have thought about that before you talked back to me. Toodles! Rebecca? I thought that was you. Hello, Mr. Brown. It's so great to meet you in person. So should we get this meeting started? Or would you like to, uh, go for coffee first? Yeah, uh, could you just give me one second? Sure. Thank you. Dan? Dan Stevens? Justin! Oh man, good to see you. It's great to see, man. How long has it been? It's been too long, man. Oh, we need to catch up. Yeah, for sure. I just dropped off the actress. She was a tough client. She was really mean to me. Really? Rebecca? So, Rebecca, I heard you gave my friend Dan here a hard time. He's just a doing his job. Well, I wouldn't say that. But I would. He said you were mean to him. That could mean you are difficult to work with. I would like to give you the benefit of the doubt, but I am not sure anymore. Mr. Brown, I... 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 Save it. I don't work with divas. Wait, wait. No, no. Oh, this is unbelievable. I'm calling my agent. Hey, what were you saying, man? Uh, it looks like my lunch hour just freed up. Do you want to, uh, grab something to eat? Yeah, I'm down. Sure, come on in. All right, let's go. Well, I'm about to be an even bigger celebrity after today. Believe me. To be about to do something. It means someone is preparing to do an action or something is preparing to happen. The examples. We were just about to leave when Jerry arrived. The movie is about to start. We do the best with what we have and we're bringing up our kids to bring up somebody. It means to look after or care for a child until they're an adult. The examples. He was brought up by his grandparents. He's got some funny ideas about how to bring up children. It may not be much, but again, we do our best. To do one's best. It means do something as well as you can. The examples. It doesn't matter if you fail. Just do your best. I did my best to ignore all the shouting. How about we don't drag out this conversation for the rest of the ride? To drag something out. It means to make something continue for more than is necessary. The examples. Please, don't drag out your story any longer. Get to the point. Tom's endless questions drag the meeting out to over two hours. Hello, Mr. Brown. It's so great to meet you in person. In person. It means someone is in the same place as another person, face to face. The examples. You must apply for the license in person. I would never hire anyone before meeting them in person. It's been too long, man. Oh, we need to catch up. To catch up. It means to talk about the latest news or information of someone's life, usually a person you have not seen for a long time. The examples. Well, let's go for coffee. I need to catch up on all the gossip. When I got home, I phoned Joe to catch up on all the gossip. Well, that's it. We have finished this lesson. I hope you will soon be able to use the vocabulary you learned today. If you like today's video, then hit the like button. If you want to continue to improve your vocabulary, subscribe to our channel, and then hit the bell for notifications. We always like to read your comments, so tell us what you think. Goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. See you later.